There now follows a party political broadcast on behalf of the Labour Party. Right, so who's first today, Minnie? Sir Rupert Wolf will be, sir. Sherman, Sherman. Hello, Rupert. Rupert, nice to see you, old man. Sit down, take the weight off your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe you know my colleague, Rupert Dodge. He's very much our specialist in, um, uh, what do we call it again? Corporate Revenue Advance Planning. Tax dodging. <coughs> Ish. Uh, so, how's business, Rupert? Business is bloody marvellous, Rupert. And that's just the problem. You see, my client... The shape. ...is a mite worried that because of all the billions the Abu Ghidi Oil Corporation is making in Britain... There arises a small matter of corporation tax in the order of... Couple of billion. And the Sheikh's not too keen to stump up. Not over keen. <laughs> over to you, Rupert. Thanks, Rupert. Well, I don't see any great problem here. It's a clear case of sovereign immunity for companies acting under the umbrella of a uh, national government, etc. I think we could wangle a complete exemption. You mean he won't have to pay a single penny in tax? Correct. Nothing. I told you he was good. Quick pint before you go? Well, uh, just a half, perhaps. <laughs> Lord Rupert Shuffington Crouch, sir. Rupert! Oh, no. <laughs> Brandon Soda? Oh, good God, no, it's too early in the day. <laughs> sooner. Sit down, sit down, no. sit down. Now, uh, as I recall, your problem is the little matter of your death. <laughs> How to leave the entire county and associated businesses to Lord Rupert the Younger without those nasty little tax men getting involved? Any ideas? Can't see a problem, Rupert. Just bundle up the capital gains tax and the inheritance tax into one parcel and you get double tax relief. Uh, you just leave it all to me. Just leave it all to us. Double tax relief? I, 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 I don't believe it. <laughs> just, just imagine a... The deer seems to have died. Smart move. Yes. After all, I don't want to wait until those Labour people get in. Mr. Wooper Chalks, sir. Ah, cheesy chalk stripe, well, blow me. We were in the same dorm together at school. Blow me indeed. So, what's up, old son? Well, uh, trouble at mill, Rupert. Trouble at mill. Really? Last I heard, allied starch and carbohydrates were making a pretty package this year. Yes, precisely the problem, old fruit. The speculators were expecting to make a right killing. And this brings in... The Dwayne Spectre. Of advanced corporation tax. Correct, leading to a certain amount of... Rancor. Yes, I'm glad you said that. Any ideas, Rupert? Oh, easy one. There's just this you enhanced shares instead of dividends and you can get out of advanced corporation tax altogether. Really? Well, go to it, old son. Yes, sir. Let's all rock and roll. Sir Rupert Rabbit, sir. Sir Rupert! Delighted. Uh, meet my colleague Rupert Dodge, Corporate Revenue Advanced Planning. Ah, CRAP man, eh? Sir Rupert, of course you know. Uh, very much the patron saint of our industry. Used to be a Tory cabinet minister, privatised British assets and family silver PLC, and then by a strange quirk of fate, uh, was appointed chairman of the new company. Uh, now, steady on, old son. They all did it. Tebbit privatised BT and finished up with a seat on the board. Fowler did it with national freight. Walker did it with gas. Wasn't just me. Oh, no, of course it wasn't, sir. Uh, no one's blaming you in the least, are they, Rupert? Ah, so, uh, what gives, sir? I have heard a nasty little rumour. Ah, the windfall levy on the £32 billion of excess profits. Yes, I'd heard that one. Rupert, any truth? <sighs> Not a chance. Unless, of course, a Labour government gets in. <laughs> Please. <clears throat> so, ah, uh, well... Just time for another quick windfall from the cabinet, eh? Bill Green. Who? Funny name, eh, Rupert? Uh, it certainly is, Rupert. How can we help you, Mr. Green? Uh, I I'm running a small business, 50 people. We make electronic components. We're trying to break into the export business, but it it's tough going. Well, VAT is up and national insurance contributions are going up. I, I just seem to be paying more taxes every time I turn around. Is there anything you can do for me? Rupert. Mm, no. Sorry. Look, the government's got to raise revenue from somebody. Somebody has to pay. The government has decided. It should be you. And, and you. you. Yes, and you. You too. Sorry. Got to be done. You. And you. Oh, yes, and you. Not yes. forgetting you. Oh, there's someone at the back. Yes, and you. Yes. You're not exempt. And you. <laughs> You're not one of it's us. Got to be For more information about James Alexander and the Labour Party, please visit www.time-for-labour.org.
hyphen change dot org dot uk.